you that arijit is a serial entrepreneur since 1998 he is a startup mentor he mentors startups he is a technologist by the way he has designed uh, games for many years and even the latest games he is an angel investor is a public speaker writer artist innovator global venture capitalist and he is also an advisor to the government so basically he is also a professor of management and technology he has trained more than 25000 students and he has traveled uh, i think over 40 countries so i mean here is a bundle of great talent and knowledge and experience and he cares for young students like you all so with this i hand over the session to arijit and arijit they are all going to call you anna by the way anna is big brother okay arijit I know. anna i know <laughs> yes 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 uh, okay so 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 happy so proud to be here in front of all of you tashmia sania monica and all of you yogiraj um so let me tell you something uh, about two different aspects of life because you guys are studying in school school life is one of the best life that one can ever think of right and uh, in your career of study when we are talking about starting your own venture having your own idea these things are really beautiful to have a great idea when you are just growing your advantage is you don't have lot many of complications in your head uh, please pardon me about the background noise at the moment i'm traveling so there are there might be some honking that will probably disturb our uh, interaction but please pardon me on that that's how the sweetness of calcutta usually works city of joy always honks and uh, that's that's part of life anyway so coming back to our uh, our discussion point when we talk about creating a great business making something meaningful i personally feel after traveling so many number of years so many different countries so many different cultures and mixed with so many different part of the world um you know starting business doesn't need any kind of business plan starting a business doesn't need what kind of market you need to tap in or open starting a business needs a small spark what is your passion what is that you want to do so it can be you want to probably start art cafe probably you love how to draw probably you love how to probably how to cook probably you love uh maybe to code and you feel that if i am doing this coding if i am if i am drawing if i am cooking can it be a money making process for me and can this money making process encourage others to join my vision in such a way so that we can build a great company together that's how any damn business usually starts it can be anything there is no point of discussion what is small business what is a big business what is msme what is corporate everything at some point in life becomes same only the cultural difference remains different that's it and when we talk about creating a business model my suggestion you need to take care of three things number one whom you know and how you know him or her number two are you a great networker can you talk to people can you communicate well can you describe your business model to some other person number 3 the most vital part can you manage money if you can manage money the rest of the things like getting a technology getting some person on board with you will become 
pretty common and relevant. These relevancy factors usually goes on and on in such a way that in life, eventually you will get good number of people who will continue the journey with you. While you continue your journey, there are two different factors you need to understand. A, if you are recruiting someone, never ever recruit a employee who is looking for money. Rather, recruit an employee who will bring money in your company. That's called a good employee in your organization. If you are paying someone, say for an example, just hypothetical case, $500 per month, and uh, in next one month, he's asking for a raise of $100. Well, that is fine. But is he bringing $5,000 worth of business in your company? If that's the case, then that's the employee you should hike the salary. But at the same time, you need to make sure the same guy who is asking for $100 more salary should bring $1,000 more business into your organization. So vital point, how you're managing these people. Second, a big business cannot be done individually. A big business always happens with teamwork. Now, who is your team? Your team is a group of people who is with you, not because of how much salary you're giving. Rather, they are in the same similar kind of vision, just like you. Okay? And they are in the same similar kind of mindset of yours with different kind of skill set it may happen that you are great in probably great cook and that's your idea to create a boutique cafe amazing but in your teammate do you have someone who can understand the finance part do you have someone who can create probably great website and he can manage it right do you have someone who can understand and manage the sales do you have someone who can understand the marketing marketing and sales are different okay so if your those factors are probably correlated with few bit of number of people into your team that creates your great team structure expanding your business from one country to an another country which i have done or a lot of the other people have done so far is just because we understand how others think let me define it if i don't understand how a European will think or a German guy will think if I want to enter into their country as a business person, I cannot have a good partnership. I cannot sell my products. I cannot tie up with anybody else. I need to be flexible enough to get those German guys with my side to do a great amount of business inside their country. So going local and understanding the culture is the most vital and important aspect of doing any kind of global business. You need to understand the color, you need to understand smell, you need to understand how they walk, how they talk, how to behave, how to dress. There are a lot of different factors. In India, we call all of these as a soft skill, but I call it as a normal skill. This is a very usual common thing when you are growing your business from one part of the world to another part of the world. And if I look at you guys, you are actually the future of Arad Burj. I hate when people call me as Indian. This is Bharat Burj. Indian is a given name. So we had this Indus Valley in earlier times. And if you look at Chola Rajbans, it used to rule probably the half of Asia. So why shall I call myself as an Indian, which is a given name by British? So as a Bharatiya, I believe that today's young generation can do much more better than us. You have a better connectivity, better knowledge. In my childhood, I never ever thought that some entrepreneur will actually discuss with such kind of things uh, in my childhood. You guys are from 11th and 12th standard. Oh my God, I never had that kind of opportunity. And because you have got uh, uh, Mr. Bhaskar along with you, and of course the Parikrama entire ecosystem, you are getting such kind of privilege to probably open up uh, your own mindset in front of any other person. It is always good to discuss. It is always good to talk so i'm not going to make it pretty bit of you know complicated and on management terms rather i'm going to open the floor for q a if you have any question for anything it doesn't matter like you can ask me like um, i love some dog but i want to adopt more dogs what should i do that kind of question is also welcome so i will leave this mic uh, to 
my dear friend mr bhaskar and open for q and a oh thank you arijit thank you so much that was uh, a very uh, brief but very inspiring talk for this target audience this audience you understand your audience so well so uh, that is that is your skill that is your greatness okay so now uh, we are coming to the question answer session so whatever questions you may have in mind after having got a brief uh, introduction of arijit anna you all can start shooting yes tasmia is always arijit tasmia is always the first to ask a question okay and she is in class 8 right tasmia 7 then oh 7 7 see okay right tasmia you shoot ask the question okay no. anna you said about uh, employees nana uh, how do you give the employees salary based on their work or how much business do they bring to the company anna uh second part uh, my sweetheart is like uh, any employee minimum they should bring 10 times the salary that they are getting number 2 how will you choose a employee well when you try to talk to anybody try to understand why they want to join your company why not the other company okay they could have joined probably um let's go like tajalai they could have joined probably some other company rather than your company why they are interested about your company right um if they can give you that answer that probably they have some vision maybe the company's vision or maybe the kind of product that they want to develop then these basic things defines a character and you need to understand when you do business it is not always about a person it's always about your company to grow a company itself is a baby of yours so first you need to protect your baby then you need to protect somebody else's interest i hope that answers your question uh, thank you for answering anna yes yograj anna i have a doubt anna if uh, we are investing if we are investing anything uh, we have our best friend he also wants to invest uh, but if he if he uh, if he trust our if he uh, if he investors uh, uh, means uh, if he invest uh, Five, uh, five crores, and I, if I invest uh, six to eight crores, then uh, who will get the more, more run out? Then uh, he, he is our, he is a, uh, he has his own company. I has, I am my own company, na. So, uh, he gets the, he is investing uh, small, but he is get, his uh, buyers are very more, so he is getting very many, and uh, my buyers are also more, but uh, he gets the more way, na. you need to understand it is not at all defined how much money that someone is investing in your business you need to have a defining factor how much value that person is bringing so if you are bringing more value than him then you should have the better chunk of the money or the company's equity and if that fellow is bringing more value value doesn't mean only knowledge value means the market connect value means is network value means the experience and the skill set value means always like telling you don't do this don't do that and should go for that kind of path because i have walked in that path and i got the success if you have that kind of person in your team try to understand if you can dilute a minimum 30% max of your company not more than that any any intelligent person will not take more than 30% of your company the solo reason is when you are growing you need to raise fund more so if you need to raise fund more and he or she holds a larger chunk of the equity for a third party investor it will be really difficult to manage the entire show right so it's not about to answer your question it's not about how much money it's about the value plus the entire value chain that he or she is bringing along with the money thanks and for answer yes srushti anna uh, we are uh, 
we are building like this more companies no now why it is um for only money they are only building no not for anything no why should they build build a company instead of that they can grow to some i don't get the question can you repeat so, please yeah instead of that what did you say sushi hello okay we we want some i think there is some connectivity issue there we want some questions from the seniors ah fardeen akash yeah akash hi anna uh, as baskar anna told that you are an angel investor what type of business startups you provide capital anna any type of cap, uh, business as long as it is helping the humanity as long as there is, uh in business he, this business is not harming any kind of human capital any sort of business which is helping mother there put in the weapons business thank you it can be agriculture it can oh, be you're... technology it can be medicines it can be it can be anything like resource travel tourism yeah but what uh, anna is saying is that whatever the business is it has to be legal and ethical yeah it right. shouldn't harm the humanity it shouldn't harm the humanity like i am against a factor that you create a medicine pool which is probably a supplement which is not going to help the person to become healthy rather it will just pump up his body as a bodybuilder but hmm. it will harm their kidney and the kidney will fail eventually i don't go with such kind of business Thank you. So, I, I, have answer, answer, right? I got a question in the chat box. I I can't see the question. Somehow it's hold on. Oh, a question in the chat box. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hold on. And now, why should we build companies? For what purpose we should? What's your opinion? Okay. First of all, it's a beautiful question, Sushti. If you really want to give back to the community. and you feel that you can practically recruit at least 5 people and that gives you a pleasure of helping 5 families and build a structure which will eventually help others to grow more make money for yourself and at the same time make money for others and at the same time you feel that you can create a innovative product which will probably help lot many other people then you are in the right stage to start your own venture hmm. that's my own opinion no right i agree with you absolutely thank you yeah Pleasure. so again yograj and tasmiya yograj yes tell me ana uh, i was a uh... Uh, a basket on send one pdf when i was going through that uh, i got to see one uh, uh this one uh, 3d racing game on the that bhutan's first 3d game and uh, so uh, what was the responses of that and uh, uh, does it was harmful for anything and uh, how was the response no, and uh, it was it was not harmful uh, yogesh uh, rograj thank you for the question it was not harmful it was bhutan's first 3d game that we created so far so good uh in the play store but it was built long back like probably around 5 6 years back when app store was pretty new so the response level was not that great because bhutan didn't had lot of internet connectivity that time so maximum number of download that happened uh the maximum number of download actually happened from bangladesh and india and bangladesh and india don't have that kind of ecosystem just like bhutanese guys the way they love their own country so from response level mm. perspective we lack those uh, we are too early for the market so we lack those bhutanese people to 
uh, download and play the game. But yes, when I was there in Bhutan, it was basically a gift from me to Bhutanese people uh, to tell the world that they have got a game based on their own roads. So that was that was the purpose of the game. It was not the purpose of making money. And what was the full uh, name of the game, Anna? Full name of the game, uh, I think it was Paro to Thimpu. Okay. But Paro to Thimpu is These a are the two PC version cities game. in Bhutan. Yeah, Paro to Thimpu is a PC version game not available in the App Store. So when we made it, it it's graphics for the phones. So we made it as a PC. But if you want, definitely I can share you the link. You can download the game and play in your PC if you have PC. And I can share, Anna. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I will give it to you. He will share it with me. Okay, Tasmia. Anna, as my ambition is to become a doctor in my life, Anna, I want to ask: as becoming a doctor in uh, a medical platform, what are the uh, ways that you can business, Anna? Ah, lot, lot of ways. Doctors can lot many different kind of business. Medicine, they can. Medicine is a big business that doctors can do. Caregiving services, that's another business that they can do. As a doctor, I know a lot many doctor friend of mine who are based out of USA. They invest their own money startups. So the the virtual reality is evolving day in and day out. So if you are a doctor, want to explore the technological world and then give the you know, a, a deep tech oriented solution to your uh, patients about uh, checking the eyes, utilizing VR devices. And then another doctor is probably checking it from Taiwan. And at the same time, another second opinion is coming from Germany. At the same time, the third opinion is coming from probably USA. And you are sitting in India. That is only possible utilizing those kind of deep tech VR devices, solution providing sectors. So those things are definitely possible it's a huge list to be very honest if i start it's not gonna end when you're a doctor it's like the world is yours you can say that hmm. very good yeah Akash, trust me i want you, you have become, another question once you become doctor trust me i want you become doctor don't forget me i'll be old then you need to treat me <laughs> trust me did you hear anna I heard Anna, the last part was a little cutting. Cutting? I said I'll <laughs> I'll be old when you become when you become a doctor, so don't forget me. No, Anna. <laughs> okay. I'm so uh, sorry, Suji. Uh Anna, why do you say that always become businessman, not businesswoman? I said always about becoming entrepreneur, not a businessman. If I made it, that's my mistake. Entrepreneurs are different than businessman or woman. A businessman or woman is those guys who are starting their business just for money. They want to make money only. But entrepreneurs are people who are innovative and passionate. They start their venture just because of their passion. While running their passion, they make their own money and give back to the community. That's the basic difference between entrepreneurship and business. Very well said, very well said. So, Suji, now you're happy. We want you to be an entrepreneur and we will not call you a businesswoman. Yes, Akash, you have another question. I'm coming to Sushi. Wait. Yes, sir. Uh, as uh, Baskana told that you are a designed gamer, what are the recent design, recent games did you design? I'm not a design gamer. I'm a game developer and game designer and I run the entire company Akash. The recent game that is coming up is a good question. Thank you so much. Recent two games we are building. One is Surpanakha based out of our epical character from Ramayana. She's uh, of course uh, going to be the superheroine and I always prefer those kind of ladies who actually are hidden gems from our epic battles. Mm. Second game that is coming up that is basically a series of fight of the legends. So we are building it uh, as a, as a you can say, futuristic 
time travel kind of aspect. Um, this is going to be five to religion six. So we are going to merge five to religion five, five to religion one, and Ashatthama. These three games coming together, which is going to be in five to religion six as a series of these these games. Oh, many of them. Yeah. Correct. So we are building a universe actually. So in our universe, you will get more than three hundred plus superheroes. But um, it takes time to build such kind of games. Are they PC games or uh, Android? These are mobile-based games. We have a PC version, which I will make available in our website for free for all of you. I'll send the link to Vasco sir. Thank you. But that will be alpha version, not the not the release version. Okay, so you can play, but it's not a full fledged game. So like, it's just for you guys testing, right? Okay, we'll go to Manasa. She has a question. Anna, what inspired you to start designing a game, Anna, or build games? Ah, oh, Manasi, a lot of factors uh, inspired me to do that. In that time in India, in 1998, nobody was actually talking about creating their own game title. There was a game company, of course, but they used to work for others. They never ever built their own game title. So I was fascinated about our Indian uh, epic, rather Bharatiya epic and mythology. There are so much of stories, so much of rich culture, but we are not at all targeting them. And uh, we talk all those stories in a different way, not the way it used to be from Sanskrit, from Pali or from Dravid as a language. So I studied all these languages and the real factors and wanted to tell the world that our motherland, Bharat Bharsh, is one of the best country in the entire world with rich culture, rich superheroes and characters. We have been invented by others and that's the sole reason Ravana became a villain. He is not a villain. He was the greatest Brahmin on that time. Okay? And if we look at all these characters who lost the battle, that means they are demon. No. Every character has its own flavor and its own strength and uh, its own characteristics. So that was the driving factor. And another factor was uh, I wanted to give something cool for the artists. I wanted to give uh, our own motherland probably some kind of disruption. That was my starting point. But thanks for this question. Thank you, Anna, for great, answering. Great. OK. So hi, Asha. We have our English literature teacher here also. Asha, do you have any questions? I got um, a question from Bhavna. Hi. Anna, no question yet, but I just love to listen. OK, OK. Yeah, Bhavna. Yeah, Anna, did you face any loss in business? How did you react to the loss? I made a lot of loss in life, uh, my dear. So business is all about taking risk and accepting all those loss and then move things forward. So, of course, I have got a failure story in India, which became a little bit of success story in Europe and in few parts of Asia. Cosplayseller.com. You can check this website. Cosplayseller is India's first cosplay selling website and e-commerce portal. It failed because I was too early for the market. It was released in, uh, I forgot, probably 2015. And we did uh, cosplay shows in India with our own superheroes. I'm not sure how many Indian companies ever dare to do their own cosplay show with their own superheroes. Of course, we have cosplay shows in India, but own superheroes, own cosplay shows, probably we did too early for the market and we didn't get any kind of response and I did it in Calcutta, not in other part of the country. That was my mistake. So that was the sole reason we probably faced those kind of issues. But yes, I have multiple failures, my, my dear, multiple learning curves in life. I don't call them as failure. I call them as learning curve in life. So every person should have that learning curve in their life and then take a impression from there and move it forward. That's what I did. Okay. Sushti, we, we are not taking this question of yours, okay? We are, no, they, we don't want to discuss the Russia and Ukraine here. Yeah, Yogra, Yograj? Yes, Anna? 
Yeah, you have raised your hand. Why have you raised your hand? Ah, uh, no, that uh, I wanted to ask uh, one question, Anna. Yeah. Anna, uh, you see, like uh, this uh, uh, game, set like free fire, and uh, some of the other uh, etc. Ah, uh, then ah, uh, they have more. Uh, the ah, uh, if I check, uh, if I check in the Play Store, ah, uh, I get more crore millions downloads. Then ah, uh, why? Why I have a doubt? Uh, why? Ah, uh, why like uh, you create an epic? Uh, why do they don't uh, take in interest uh, in like this epic and they take uh, in like uh, this uh, shooting games? Why not? Because that's a genre of uh, the world. Uh, Indian epical stories. People don't have that kind of understanding. Please don't think that Google Play Store is the only Play Store where we have games. We have more than 300 plus places where we put our games. Those are local stores. Okay. With your permission, can I take? Oh, okay, the line got disconnected. Okay. Yeah. So gaming business is not about Google Play Store. Okay. Google Play Store is one of the way. Okay. Hardware. There are devices partners. Uh -huh. There are publishing partners where we publish our games. Okay, Manasa. Ah, Manoj. And there are many business. Who is your role? I guess there yes, is. Yes, Manasa. We didn't get your question. Oh, Arjit, did you get the question? No. Manasa, I'm... what is your question? Hello. Yes. Sorry. Hey, uh, where Swati? Swati, are you from PJC? Yes, yes, yes. Just send me the LinkedIn. LinkedIn, I will, I will join, join the call. Now, huh? we want more questions from sure, PJC. Sure. Okay, Manasa, uh, he did not get your question. Bhaskar, I have another session at six o'clock. Yes, Can I repeat it again? Oh, you have another session at six o'clock? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, no, uh, no issues. Uh, can you just quickly take these two questions, Manasa? What is the question? Anna, there are many oh, businessmen over. Okay, Who Manoj, is your you role model in them, Anna? Ah, uh, thank you, Manasa, for this question. My role model is Steve Jobs. He is no more in this mortal world, but he is my role model. Okay, great. Great. Okay, and thank you okay. for answering. So, uh, I'm so sorry. I would love to stay with you. I would love to stay all of you, all of you guys. I mean, I'm getting a lot of beautiful questions. Unfortunately, I have another session to attend. I'm so sorry about me being late. I was supposed to come at 4:30 because of another session which extended here in Calcutta. Uh, the, the 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 timing became a little bit of crazy for me. Please pardon me, but next time definitely. I would love to hop in for another session. I'm traveling to Dubai in March, but from there, if you really want to conduct a session, would love to come and hop in. Thank okay, you. sure. You just let me know the dates. We'll get in touch with you. You are really, you. you know, always on the move. So this is the first time that we have a speaker talking to the uh, your uh, the students while he is on the move. This shows how energetic and how mobile you are. Thank you very much, Arijit. We would love Thank to you. have you again. We love to have you again. Thank you, Anna. Okay. So say bye, Anna. Bye, Anna. Thank you for bye, the Anna. session. Bye, Anna. Oh, he's Thank already you for left. Already left. Yeah, yeah. He's already left. Okay. So today we had a, a very interesting session. Especially, I like because the. Uh, Uh, like students from both the schools, different uh, schools of Parikrama. I know <clears throat> uh, Yogaraj is from Nandini Layout. Tasmiya is from Jaynagar, uh, and uh, Sania, of course, Tasmiya's sister. Shristi, you are from Koramangla, right? No, no, Nandini Layout. Oh, okay. Anyone from Koramangla here? No one. Okay. Anyway, 
so we will end it here today uh, i will i will uh, tell your akkas whether we are having a session tomorrow because uh, i really don't know because tomorrow we have a big event uh, in the junior college so that's why i asked uh, akash and others to come join so um,